Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day 26. We'll start off looking at yesterday, which is Troublemaker Abalone in this beautiful woodshed pen. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance, I woke up congested for some reason. It's fine. Um, so... Here's the dried chromatography and that dried splat, which is like just straight up pink in the middle. Love it. And on to today's ink, which is <laughs> Colorverse Mystic Mountain. Um, I love this ink. I originally looked at it... Uh, this set, because this comes with Pillars of Creation, because I was like, Pillars of Creation looks really awesome, I should get that. And then I was like, yeah, I don't know if I need it. And then I saw a sample of Mystic Mountain, and I thought, oh, well, that's happening. So. And I'm going to put it in my um, Twisby Eco Tea Mint Blue whatever it's called uh, well you know my goal has not been no my goal has been to not get super fulfilled and I have failed miserably today it's okay I like this ink in this pin wall not give me problems if it stays inked for a while. This paper towel is just gorgeous. Clean off by the nib. Cap that. Close this. I'll do this. I'm having a lazy morning and I'm feeling guilty about it. Which is silly. I shouldn't. I'm worried that my water is contaminated. Fresh water. Cool. And, gosh, this is beautiful. Let me have, mm, that's beautiful too. Earl Grey is supposed to be an afternoon tea. And I'm not having that lazy in the morning. <laughs> okay. Let me pull this out. Kind of a shame I glue these down because I feel like if we looked at a lot of the past chromatographies they'd look the same, but we got a line of shimmer at the bottom and then pink and blue. Very light pink and blue. So you already know it's gonna be sort of desaturated. Lacking in saturation, but that shimmer. Mm-hmm. So it's 30 inks, 30 days, day 26, ink, color verse, 
Mystic Mountain. It's fun to write M's that way. Try it sometime, friends. This way. It's like, murmur, murmur, murmur. Just like that. Pen. Tea mint uh, with a broad nib. There's a surprise. Maria got a pen with a broad nib. What? Who is she? That joke, of course. Now, preparations for splat. Maybe turn the notebook first, Maria. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at this part on the paper, though. It's really neat. This is named for, I think it's a nebula. I mean, it's some astrological phenomenon called Mystic Mountain that you should check out a picture of if you haven't yet. And now I think that this is the only pen I've had this ink in since I started this. I think it's been in here. Let's see. Maybe not. It's... Yeah, it's the fourth ink in here. And I had it in the Twisby Eco Team in. So there it is. The shimmer's not coming through on this. Probably didn't shake it up. Who knows? But I find that the shimmer on this is more hit or miss. Because it's not like uber shimmery just shimmery but anyway i love it i love it i'm very much looking forward to today's pen and ink because i do i really love oh it's also just fun to like play with the pen when the ink settles like let's let it settle for a minute and we'll come back and play with it um oh yeah so what are your takes on shimmerings? I know a lot of people are like, nope. And um, I was, I loved them. And then I hated dealing with them in the pins that I had. So then I hated them. And then I um, bought some pins, especially for shimmer inks. And I'm back to loving them. So that's my shimmer ink journey. What's yours? I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.